Hey, this is Don Patashny from LAPhotoPro.com and today we're going to be modifying a Canon 580EX flash to have a sync port on it like I did with this one. And here you can see we have a 580 without the sync port. So the first thing is this video is for educational purposes only and uh, I do not recommend you trying this to your own flash. Uh, this could do serious damage to your flash and at the same time we're working with extremely high voltage and uh, could cause injury and even death. So again this is for educational purposes only. That being said, uh, we'll start by removing the batteries from the flash. We'll set those aside for now. Uh, the place I'm going to mount the sink port is actually going to be on the battery side right under the hot shoe right about in this location here. Uh, first step, we're going to unscrew the bottom. There's four screws. And they're tiny too, so you might want to have a little tray to keep them in. And by removing those four screws, now we can pop off the um, hot shoe bottom here now. And inside basically looks like this. So the piece we need to work on is this bottom piece here, the base. And I'm going to start by removing these wires. And we'll set the flash aside. And now we have to decide where we want to put the um, the jack, which is made by this company here. Um, I got this at Fry's Electronics. It was one of two that they had. Uh, this one happens to be a stereo jack. Um, we're only using a you know mono application, uh, so we're we're going to leave one of the three terminals, um, you know, without any wires attached. And I'm going to start by bending these leads back because there's just not enough room inside the flash to leave these leads um, vertical like that. So we're going to knock these down. We've got our um, our jack with the, with the uh, terminals pushed back. I'm going to put my jack on the, uh, the battery side and where I want to do that is right about in this area here and reason being is because that's where there's the most amount of space uh, I don't know if you can see this very clearly but once you have your flash open you'll understand what I'm talking about um, so that's why I'm gonna shoot to put the jack right about there you could do the same thing on the other side I'm sure I haven't tried it but it looks like there's pretty much the same amount of room so I'm going to use two different drill bits to make my hole. The first one I'm going to use is just a little pilot drill bit. It's probably uh, maybe sixteenth of an inch or so. Second one is quarter inch drill bit. Okay, so I'm going to start by making my pilot hole. And I'm going to shoot right about there. Before we drill the main hole here, I'm going to move this wire out of the way so it doesn't get torn up. Now the thing with drilling plastic is it tends to grab. So it's important to go slow um, so you, you know, don't break it and, and you keep control. And once we go all the way through, then I can bore it out a little bit. Just to give you an idea what that's going to look like. I'm going to put that through the inside there.
Okay, so now that we've got this um, jack in place, let's make sure it fits before we go any further with hooking up any wires. So we start by inserting, this kind of slips underneath, and then this pushes down. But you gotta make sure it's all the way in so it clears the, uh, the master switch there and it should pop right back in place and fit well. This one fits really well. So, uh, now for the soldering, I'm going to use two pieces of wire. This is both, uh, both of these wires are solid copper. You can use uh, stranded if, uh, if you want, but I like to use the solid stuff when I can. <clears throat> so I'm gonna just gonna uh, strip off a tiny bit on the end. That's even a bit much, actually. So I'll kind of slide some of this insulation back down since I took too much there. So we just have a tiny, tiny bit and we'll strip a little bit more off the end on this one. That's good. Talk about our connections here. Uh, like I said in the beginning, we're only going to be using two of these three terminals. Uh, we're going to be using the sleeve terminal. It's going to be connected to our ground. And we're going to be using um, Terminal 1, they're, they're labeled on the bottom, if you look closely you can see it says 1 and 2. So we're going to be using, um, Terminal 1 is going to be our, going to be wired to our trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start by, actually let's start by removing, we'll start by removing the uh, jack, now that we know everything fits right. And I am going to solder this white piece of wire here to the ground. And the way I'm going to do that actually is I'm going to use the solder that's already there. And in order to help it stick, I'm going to put a little bit of flux on the end of the wire. So I'm just using the soldering iron to uh, press the wire against the ground lead there. Okay, so now we got a really good, uh, really good hot solder joint there. So we've got the white wire connected now to the ground, which is that main uh, point sticking up. Okay, so our second wire here, I'm going to uh, strip that down as well. Again, I'm not stripping off very much. You just need maybe, maybe a quarter inch, not even a quarter inch really, off the ends. And this piece of wire is probably inch and a half long.